Bonjour mesdames et messieurs and welcome to this new training course introduction, the Sky Replacement Course. The reason I did this course is that sometimes you spend a lot of money to travel to come to a specific place and the sky is just not there. You know, you climb up 284 stairs to go to the top of Notre Dame and it's boring sky. So you take the shot anyway because you climbed up the stairs. Uh, if there was only a software that could help us on that, it's called Photoshop. And that's, um, that's what I do. I don't do it often, but I, I do it sometime, you know, where I have an amazing photo, a good composition, but a boring sky. And I replace the skies to make, you know, a photo that's going to create emotion. When I do photography, what I try to do is just create emotion on my photos, whether there is a lot of retouching or very little retouching. So this course is about replacing skies, a lot of retouching, but for pretty amazing results. This course is two things. First, it is over 50 raw files of sunsets, daylight, or bad weather of nice skies I've shot over the last five or six years. I make a collection of it and I'm offering it to you as part of this package so that you can use it on your own work. Second thing, we are going to do several projects and I'm going to show you the before and after so that you can use these skies to change them on some of your photos. We're going to start off with this photo of, uh, of the roof of Notre Dame, that's the before photo, and that's the final result, a lot more drama. Then we are going to go to the scene of this early morning shot where I drove like half an hour and was so disappointed that there was no sky. So we're going to add some skies for revenge. This is the final result. Then we're going to go back on the roof of Notre Dame and this is the back actually, that what you see when you look behind Notre Dame. And that's the before photo and I wanted to uh, add some real drama in God Rays, so that's the final result. Then I'm going to show you a little trick that I did. It's a, it's a panel of the Eiffel Tower, but taken through the uh, buildings of Paris. This is all the before photos and that's the final result with some sky replacement. Then I'm going to show you how you can do that in a middle of afternoon photo. This is the before photo, a pretty okay shot of the Eiffel Tower, and that's the final result. A lot more interesting because it's got a lot more sky. And last, this photo of La Défense, it's uh, the sort of Manhattan area of Paris. This is the before photo, a night shot, and a night shot with sunset, that's the final result. You will see that one of the key things to do to replace skies is to find the right sky for the right photo. And that's what I will explain to you in these videos and also I'll show you all the different techniques to replace skies because there's, a, there's actually quite a lot to it. So there you have it. That's my new course. I hope you enjoy it and that you have fun replacing skies.